So we we'll wait for the others to jo to join. We will start at one o six. Good afternoon, everyone. Good morning, Miss. Uh... Good afternoon. Can you see the screen? Yes. yes.
So hi, good afternoon everyone. I am Noura Mohamed from grade 11A. And I am Ali Ali Shimani from grade 11B. And I'm Saeed Ahmed from grade 8C. And I am Fatima Ahmed Ali Shahi 6A. And today we're going to talk to you about e-safety. What's e-safety and how do we be safe online? And what are the things that we have to be careful in online? We do not show our passwords and emails. Yes, correct. So ECFT is and all about address online. One point before we start, uh, please raise your hand if you want to answer. And yeah. So yes, you are correct. ECFT is all about staying safe online. Here is a video that will help you understand the rules to e-safety. There is no voice. So from the video, who can tell me what are some main points you learned? Do not share your password or phone number. Correct, but please next time raise your hand. Amna Ahmed. Do not leave your device open when I, uh, and then you leave it. Correct. Salama Ali. We do not talk to strangers. Correct. Fatma Aruf. Do not share your photos with strangers. Correct. So basically, ACFT rules are so simple. First, you should not talk to strangers online and you should never give out your personal information information like your location, password, and anything related about you. And every time, remember to use a hard password not related to your name. Does anybody can give me an example of a hard password you can use? 
I don't care. I'm not hurt. 9,197. It is a good password, but you need to add letters, numbers, symbols, and in the letters you should add capital and non-capital. I, can I? Yes, for, for Rashid. Two, three, N, capital N, S, Pound T U. Yes, correct. Can I? Yes, please. Um, capital I with I don't care, and then your birthday. We said Can that it must be related to your birth date of birth, name, or age. Can I say it, please? Yes, Yusuf. Stay at home 3969. Correct. And don't forget some capital and some lowercase letters. So let's continue. Here is a video that will help you know how to make a good password. Hey, did you try that new service I told you about yet? Just about to do that now. I'm trying to create a new account. It keeps rejecting my password. Why is that? It's saying my password isn't secure enough. Well, is it? It told me I can't use my name and birth date. That, of course not. That's too easy to break into. Okay, fine. But what password rule should I follow? Easy. Just choose a word or short phrase that's unique to you, throw in an upper and lowercase letter, a number, and you're done. Ah, that seems to have done the trick. Good. You're in. Now check out that link I sent you. Ha! Huh. Very funny. Isn't it, though? <laughs> So strong passwords have eight or more characters, numbers, upper and lower case letters, special characters and are that are hard to guess. So now we have a Kahoot about passwords. Hi children, I will now set up the Kahoot. I will type it in. Actually, I need to share the screen. So, Nora, can you please stop sharing? And you, I will share my screen, show you the password. If you don't know how to do a Kahoot, then you just join, uh, go on your phone, join with the pen I give you, and then it will be a quiz formed of five questions. Answer it, and let's see who can get the high score. So open Kahoot.it, like on your device. Kahoot.it.
The pin is in the screen. Six nine zero. Zero three one zero. If you're uh, if you joined the game, please raise your hand. And don't enter with a nickname. So that's great. Uh, students are joining. They will not let us uh, go in Kahoot if we do not do a nickname. OK, then it's fine. Just wait. Don't OK, stop. we will wait. Don't worry, we will wait. Wait, I didn't open my laptop. No worries, we will wait. So as as soon as you join the Kahoot, raise your hands so we can see. The, the second one. So we will start in a few seconds. If you didn't join, uh, join now. We will wait for a couple of minutes.
OK, so thank you. You can lower your hand. Uh, is anyone still? Can we start or do we wait for? Abdai, start. 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 True or false? It is important to have a strong password. Don't reveal the answer. Just click. Is it true or is it false? It is important to have strong passwords. So what is the correct answer? Raise your hand if you want to answer. Yes, Hala. Yes, Hur, is it true or false? It is true. Yes, that's correct. True, it is true. Okay, you can lower your hands. Why is having a strong password important? The red for fun, the yellow to be cool, blue so I can stay safe online, green to get friends. Okay, yes, Salama. Which is the right answer? The right answer is at ADH678. Yes, that's correct. True or false? I should share my password with everyone I know. Is it true or false? I should share my password with everyone I know. Yes, I'm Nawalid. False. Yes, it's false. Did you learn anything today? So let's see who's at the first, second and third place. Clap your hands for the winners. Excellent work. So now we will go back. Don't leave yet. We have we still have more things to do. Which are fun. Can you see my screen? No, no. no. OK, one no. second. 
And now? Yes. 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 OK. In addition to all that we said, e-safety rules, we should never keep our devices connected while when we are not using it, and we should never download a game from a trusted, uh, from an untrusted source. So if if I found this game online, I know I really loved it, but I'm not sure of the source. Do I install it or not? Not. 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 No. Why then? Not. No. Why? Uh, because I maybe it's not box. safe. Correct. So please raise your hand uh, if you want to answer. So here, um, malwares. Malwares are basically, have you ever heard of a virus that, like this computer has a virus or this iPad has a virus? Yes, yes we heard it. Yes. So what do you think that means? Do, yeah. do computers or devices have viruses? No. Yeah, but they're not sick. No, then it become a so the online okay but please like remember uh to un to raise your hand and we will choose you okay what what did you say fatma yes fatma um no i'm not raising my hand oh, okay uh the first uh at the list the first student up that raises his hand uh, you may answer I can't hear you. Yes, Amna. Amna Ahmed. Saeed Alai. Yes. Uh, computers have viruses because uh, when you get in a game uh, you, that you don't trust, uh, the hackers can give you a virus that like shuts your laptop or do uh, do do some trouble to for your laptop and and for your life. Yes, that's correct. Mm. And we have, yes, Salama. When, when you do something wrong to the laptop, um, the one stranger can see all the pictures that you have, what you did, and the hacker will do something bad to you, laptop. Yes, that's correct. So we have a student that raises his hand. The first, the first name. Uh, HQM. You can answer. They take your photos and uh, something you don't want to share or you are not wearing well and uh, they take your photos. That's correct. What's your name? My name is Moza. Okay, Moza. That's correct. Yes, Fatma, you want to add? Um, when you uh, download a game that is safe, because if like it's not safe, the master of the game who created the game will like tell you to do, like choke on yourself, for example, and then you may die because of the game. Yes, these are really type of really uh, strange, uh, like this is more about stranger danger and viruses, that's correct. Yes, Saqar, Saqar Walid. Don't, um, don't send people information about yourself because then you might get hacked 
and they will know all your information. Yes, that's correct. OK, so malwares are uh, computer programs which are made to damage your computer or maybe a virus. So malwares, it can come in any form. For example, who likes Minecraft? If you like Minecraft, say yes, I like Minecraft. <laughs> Yes, I, yes I like Minecraft, I like Minecraft but I don't know how to play it. That's fine. So, for example, I go to Google and I write downloading Minecraft. And I saw that this website, Minecraft, uh, Minecraft for free. Um, Minecraft is for free, but the link is weird. Like, I had never heard of this website. Should I click download or no? Raise your hand. No. No. Raise your hand. Yes, Salama. We will not download the fake Minecraft. Yes, that's correct. It may be fake. Yes, Moza. Maybe this game is hacker. Yeah, maybe. I'm no idiot. Okay, um, what about today? Do you want to add? No. Okay, what do you think? Should I download the game? No. No. Yes. Uh, Fatma? Um, if you download the game, maybe like the person who created the game wants to, wants to get like likes and views of any, everything. But he just copying the real Minecraft, so maybe like a hack inside of it or something like that. And it may not be like very good for you. Yes. Amna Ahmed? Minecraft, uh, I, uh, some people like uh, copy Minecraft like block, Blockcraft and uh, other, other games, but some of them don't have like uh, creatures that are in Minecraft. So maybe they are hackers or they are just copying a game. Yes, that's correct. Yes, Salama Ali. Um, maybe the fake game can hack you and it will not let you do anything inside the mine the fake Minecraft. Do not buy some do not buy a fake one. Yes. Yes, Sakar. When you download the game, check um check in Google if it's safe or not safe. So yes, that's correct. If so if Google doesn't help us, and you can lower your hands so I can ask the next question. Lower your hands, please. Okay. I'll... Yes, Moza. The the fake Minecraft can be VPN. Yeah, that's correct. So what do you think? Who can we ask for help? Our, uh, uh, yes, Moza? Someone bigger than us. Yes, that's correct. Who can it be? Raise your hand. Mm, who do we choose? Yesterday. We ask our mom or dad. Yes, that's correct. Yes, hello. Who do we ask? You can ask your grandparents and your big sisters or your big brothers. Okay, that's correct. You can lower your hands. Okay, so these, what we shouldn't download? We shouldn't download games, files, links because they're untrusted. And it can steal, as many of you said, it can steal your information, your pictures. It can hack your account. What about, um, what if you are maybe an adult that have maybe a bank account and uh, it, your computer was hacked? What's the first thing that's going to happen to your bank account? The money will go. Everything that you was 
uh, uh, that hard that you was uh, getting for uh, your game, uh, they will lose your things that you was uh, care of them and uh, our uh, our photos and the money and everything. Yes, that's correct. Yes, Fatma Arif. Um, nothing, nothing. I just raised my hand by accident. Okay. Uh, Amna Walid? So the question is, if, for example, you have a bank account on your computer and you, your computer uh, got a virus. What, the hacker, what is the first thing that the hacker going to do? Yes, Salama. It can uh, take, uh, it can do a virus for you. And if you put, if you put games in the uh, files, um, the, it will come a virus and the hacker will do it. And the yes. thing will be bad. Yes. Uh, Amna Ahmed, what do you think? First, they will take your, they will take your, all of your personal pictures, private pictures, and then they will upload it in uh, uh, Instagram and Snapchat and these uh, apps um, that everyone can open them, and then they will, and then they will laugh at you. Yeah, so we so, should not never open untrusted apps, files, links. Yes, Fatma. Um, if you download, like, uh, I mean, the bank account, the first thing the hacker will do is, like, steal your money and, um, and, like, it can, like, steal your photos and, like, send them somewhere, but when they send them, they're gonna, like, put somebody else's body and they'll think it's you and laugh at you. Okay, yes, Moza. Um, they will take your private photos and put it in the... Uh, in the social media and maybe you are you take a picture of your mom she's not wearing well for the social media or a photo of your sister she's not wearing hijab or any photo that uh, you don't want it to go to the social media and you want you don't want it to go to the to the man or the girl that did you uh, that with your phone or device hacker yes that's correct so what can we conclude are hackers or viruses good or bad bad yes very bad Internet scams. Someone using internet services or software to trick and defraud others. So this basically means if I am using the internet right now, like I'm playing Minecraft, one of our favorite games. So I'm playing and suddenly an ad pops up and it tells me you can purchase, uh, you can purchase mods in Minecraft, like you can uh, get uh, better gear or you can get diamonds for free. And if I press on this, and sometimes it takes me and it tells me pay money. And it steals my money without me knowing. And doesn't give me anything. So this is what internet scams mean. So if you look at the photo, this explains it. So taking my also taking my personal data and my money. And it's like he's fishing me. Does anyone want to add on to what I said? Yes, I'm Ahmed. Uh, sometimes you should not uh, name your name your files, personal data, or person personal uh, private pictures. You should uh, if some because if someone comes like a hacker and sees the name personal data, it he will like 
open it and then post it on the social media. So you should uh, trick them if they came, uh, like name them one, two, three, or other like like confusing names. You're right, Amina. Anybody else? Yes, Fatima. Um, if you like uh, try to buy something with the money in the game. And then you may like pay for it, and then they don't give you what you wanted to buy. They just don't give you anything. They just take your money and don't give back anything. All right, thank you for adding. Now let's watch this video together. I'm not pleased. Put your hand down. Your personal data is made up of information such as your address, phone number, date of birth, bank details and passwords. It's something you don't want falling into other people's hands. But these days we share our personal data on a regular basis. So how can we protect it? Well, for starters, get smarter with your data. Keep your personal data secure. Make sure you shred any personal documents, such as bills or bank statements, before throwing them away. Be careful sharing information about yourself on social media and other online forums. Always make sure that the person you're dealing with is who they say they are. Beware of anyone requesting your personal data or money, whether over the phone, via email, or online. They may pretend to be a romantic interest, a family member in trouble, or even a foreign prince. Odds are, they're not. Start taking a closer look at things. Scammers use legitimate-looking emails, letters, and websites to trick you into handing over your personal data. If you think something is a scam, it probably is, so don't respond. Delete the email, throw out the letter, shut the door, or hang up. If you're not sure if it's a scam, use the phone book or an online search to get the organization's contact details and check with them. Install security software on all your electronic devices and make sure it's up to date. Choose your passwords carefully. They're the best defense against data theft, so make sure they're strong and do not use the same password for every account, profile or Wi-Fi network. Following these simple steps is the best way to keep your personal data safe. For more information on how to get smarter with your data, visit... Cyberbullying, do you know, to begin with, do you know what cyberbullying? Use the hand icon to, to, an, and let me, to choose you to answer. Yes, Amna? Bullying someone uh, by using electronics and the electronic devices like you are ugly and, and not, and bad things. And uh, yeah. like uh, telling them that I will post your private pictures. Thanks, Amina. But do you know what's, uh, yeah, it's the correct meaning of cyberbullying. Yeah, Fatwa? Um, cyberbullying means that like if you're like on the online and you're posting pictures on, for example, like Snapchat and like someone's like telling you their picture is very ugly and everything. First thing you should do, like, tell your parents and then, like, get over with it. And don't let the, whoever is bullying you bully you again. Yeah, thanks. And block him. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, no. Uh, is bullying bad or good? Yes, Moza? 
I did not hear the question well. So is uh, bullying bad or good? Bad. Okay. Amna? Uh, Cyberbullying is bad. Very bad. Thanks. Salama? Cyberbullying can do something to you and it is a bad. Thanks. Fatma? Cyberbullying can change your life forever and it is really bad. Thanks. And anyone else? To lie? Cyberbullying can make you bad. Yeah, thanks. So cyberbullying, as you said, is using technology to hurt someone on purpose. Cyberbullying, if you were bullied online, you have to tell you have to inform an, your parents or an adult. So who will you inform if you are being bullied online? Yes, Amna? Uh, you tell someone that you trust and you really know them. Thanks, Moza. Our family, if they know this thing and they heard of, of it and they uh, test it, I, I do it. If they didn't, I, uh, I uh, block him. Okay, thanks. So now we will we will watch a video that uh, for a boy who's been bullied and uh, listen carefully. So I'll ask you questions after finishing. Meet Alex. He's a kid a lot like you. He's in the fourth grade. Here he is hanging out with his friends on the playground. The sixth graders are having recess at the same time as the fourth graders. One sixth grader nicknamed Big Mike is a big bully. Sure enough, Big Mike comes up to Alex and starts picking on him, calling him names and making fun of him. Alex is scared, but he knows what to do. He imagines he's a courageous superhero and runs to tell the sixth grade teacher about it. The teacher puts Big Mike in timeout and makes sure that Big Mike won't be allowed to play with younger kids for a while. Bullies are no fun, but did you know that you have to watch out for bullies on the internet too? Kids who send mean text messages and emails or taunt kids on websites are called cyber bullies, and they can make other kids feel just as bad as Alex felt on the playground. A couple of weeks after Big Mike got in trouble at recess, he sends Alex an email calling him names. Then he writes a nasty lie about Alex on a website that a lot of the kids at school can read. But that's not all. After school, Big Mike sends Alex a text message every 10 minutes that says he's going to beat Alex up the next day. Oh man, Big Mike is really scaring Alex. As you can see, Big Mike's cyberbullying is just as harmful as his bullying at recess. And the worst part is that cyberbullying can happen anywhere, even when Alex thinks he's safe at home. What should Alex do? The answer is simple, but Alex has to be courageous again. He saves the nasty email, the website posting, and the text messages and shows them to his parents. His parents contact the school and give the principal all of the evidence of Big Mike's cyberbullying. Now Big Mike is in even bigger trouble. This time, his parents are notified and he's suspended from school. Cyberbullying is no fun and it makes kids feel sad and scared. If a cyberbully targets you, be courageous like Alex and tell an adult a parent or teacher about it. It's the best way to keep the internet safe and fun. And now what did Alex do to stop Bi Big Max? Yes, Amna? He, he, um, Big, Alex stopped Big Max by telling, first telling his teacher, uh, Big Max teacher, and then he, when he st when he cyber bullied, he tells his parents, and parents, and his parents they gave evidence to the school, and then they said they suspended 
Big Mac from school, and then his parents were so mad of him. Uh, of him. Thanks. And f now Fatima. Um. Um. First of all, he, uh, when when Big Mike bullied him, he told, um, uh, Big Mike, sixth grade teacher, and the Big Mike sixth grade teacher, um, had him like in detention and time out, and the Big Mike teacher. Make sure he wasn't with little kids. And the next time he cyber bullied and tended the mean texts, um, Max, Max told his parents and his parents told the principal and had some evidence. And when he told, when he showed them the evidence, he got, Big Mike got suspended. Thanks. And now Moza. Um, Mike tells uh, for uh, for him that he will be dead tomorrow, and like he give him the messages, and and then the last time, the last day that he is uh, that he was uh, very sad, and uh, he said for for uh, Mike that he will be like uh, like bullied and like that and then the last time he was the bullied from his mom and dad and uh, i learned that i i tell uh someone adult if somebody bullied me thanks and anyone want to answer too Yes, Selma. Um, when when a bull when the when a bull is talking to you bad, um, tell you you need to tell an adult and and tell the uh, uh, and we sh we need to tell our parents because of the bullies will do bad things to you. And they will make you scared and sad and cry. Thanks, Selma. So thank you, everyone. Uh, did you enjoy the lecture? Yes. 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 Bye, Noura. Yes. Muhammad. We will do it uh, every day.